Okay. This is a barn owl. It was Orphan's one that we finished raising up. And he's all ready to go. He's all mad at me. He thinks he's going to kill me. He's com completely, completely wild and beautiful little guy. And uh, this is a little alternative place that we can release them. This is uh, basically out north of town. We've got quite a few trees in the area out here and we're out uh this is a wetlands from the uh, uh cedar city water treatment plant over here so this place is just loaded with field mice so this would be a great place for him to be it's far enough away from people and the roads that he should be just fine and I'm not going to force him to fly. He just, uh... yes, you're just a vicious little guy. But we love him anyway, even if he does think that he hates me. Yes, you do. But that's okay. I think you're a beautiful little owl. Yes, you are. Yes, you are my little friend. So, we had to wait till evening time. It's getting close to 7.30 in the evening. Let it cool down a little bit before he turned loose. But we wanted to get him turned loose while there's still enough daylight that he can find a good place to roost and uh, a good little hunting perch to start his life. Okay, little friend. Take care of yourself. Rid the world of those evil mice. Oh, what about is it by the? Oh, there he is. Hiding <laughs> behind the, the bushes. He says, I need a secret place. He's got one. Where nobody knows I'm here. He's hiding right up under the under the bush there. Yep. Oh, that's funny. Okay, well, I don't know if he'll just take the food from me or I'm going to have to force feed him. I, so far, I've pretty much had to force feed him. Well, let's see what I can do here. Let me be... Wait a minute. You found me. I'm not hidden anymore. Yep. He was hidden pretty good. Yes, he was. <laughs> Hiding under the bush like it was his mom's wings. Yep. Hey, oh, baby. I'm sorry. I'm going to have to hand feed you. I don't like to, but I'm going to have to. Hi. Hi, baby boy. How you doing? Go. Yeah, there we go. He'll start eating on his own pretty soon. Just the this is his first day. First day. So he's a little frightened. And you've got a lot of fluids on that chopped up mouse too, don't you? I do. So it slides down a little bit easier and some little like I said electrolytes for hydration and hi baby 
Yeah. That's good, huh? Come on, baby. Hi. Yeah, swallow it down. You're just all fluff, aren't you? Yeah, when he starts feeling a little bit better, then he'll, uh, we'll just, like the Swainson's hawk, we just need to set the food down and then he'll come and eat it. How many days have you had the Swainson's hawk? We've had it a couple of weeks. Come on, so what's in there? It's interesting that you released a barn owl just a couple days ago. Yeah, a baby barn a couple of days ago. So this, these are obviously way behind. Usually the barn owls are ready to ready to go back to the wild by mid to late July, but this is obviously a very late late bunch. Well, maybe their first haystack disappeared and they had to start over. It very well could be. <laughs> if they came from Burrow, that's odds are. Pretty little boy. Pretty baby. There we go. Swallow it down. There's a pure, still a piece on this side of his mouth. So he's not too fond of you yet. No, he's not. That's okay. He doesn't have to be fond of me. I don't care. Huh, I don't care. I don't care if you're not happy with me. We're going to let you be grow up to be a little owl. Are you about going to quit on me, source food? Huh, are you going to quit? I remember last year with the seven babies how much food you went through oh yeah those seven babies just literally cleaned us out of house and home they were voracious little guys they eat a lot okay i think that's about all i'm going to get into it for now that's all i'm going to get into you for now huh sweetie okay here we go he says, I'm going to freeze up and be petrified. Yep, he's a scared little little baby. You are a scared little baby. Yeah, finish your swallowing. There you go. Yeah. Look at that hairdo. That down, I know. That downy fro. Yeah, that downy, downy fro. fro. You've got quite the fro there, buddy. Mm -hmm. well, quite you can, the fro. You can go back and hide under the bushes again if you want. He's going to attack you first. Yeah, you're going to be vicious. A vicious little baby. He says, uh-oh, another big scary person. 
Yep. Okay, we'll get out of your way, kid. So awkward. <laughs> so awkward and so cute. Yep. Trying to look big as he can. Amazing how mobile they are at this age. I guess they do leave the nest young, and as long as there's enough food for everybody, they get fed. Okay. Barn owls. But yeah, they're stinky. That's what they are? Yeah, barn owls, barn owls or owls. You, you have a bigger barn owl, you yeah. can show him. It's a, still a baby, but bigger. Yep. Well, when we first seen them, we thought they were owls. They are. Yeah. Oh. So we get this thing to work. I'll get it if you can. Wait a second here. Do you want me to, I guess you know where the containers are that'll hold them better? Uh -huh. We have a nest box we can put outside for them? Yeah. What are there three of them? Four. Four. Yep. Why else have big clutches? Okay, here we go, guys. Bunch of baby barn owls. It's going to be another big owl here, I so guess. So this came from the beaver area? Yeah. Okay. You'll need your container back. Yep, that's yep. my battery cover. Yeah, <laughs> off, off my 10 meter. Very good. Creative. Okay. Do you well, we're going to put them in here. Okay. To move them around. You've got a container handy. Mm -hmm. We need to put a pad down. Right, right now we're just going to put them in here to move them around. So oh, okay. Hey, little ones. Yep. Hi, babies. Come on. They probably fell out of their nest if they were on the ground. They do have big nests and they crowd. Yeah. See, and they were in a big stockpile of gravel. There was a little burrow cut out. And really? It sloughed off. And they, were... they were down in that. That's just weird. Yeah, that is weird, but it's... They nest in haystacks yeah. and all kinds of things. Okay. Well, so he's going to go in the house or outside? Uh... It's certainly warm enough outside for them. It shouldn't be an issue. As long issue. as it's not too hot for them. Yeah. I would have left them there, but I figured they'd bake in the sun. Yeah. yeah. In the sun, I, yes, they would. They definitely would. Okay, well, let's go show you the... Uh, the so you have what they'll look like in about a week or two? Two weeks? Yeah, in a couple of weeks. Broke too bad. Uh -huh. He likes to hide under this bush here. Oh, wow. Okay, there it's starting to look more like an owl. Look a little me. bit more like yeah. an owl. It still has a long face, face, these yeah. guys. Yeah. The barn owls have a longer face than a lot of the other owls. Huh. He says, I'm tough and I'm mean and I don't like you. That's cool. <laughs> like us. Hmm. Well, that was what we first thought were owls. And then we yep. got looking at pictures of turkey yep. vultures and they look as chicks I thought they looked a lot alike. <laughs> the turkey bolster's beak's a lot longer. Yeah.
Oh, baby. Elle says there's a Cody out here. Yeah. And I don't like him. Doesn't want to share her space with dogs at all. Oh no, baby. There we go. <clears throat> and so we have to feed them a natural diet. So this is chopped up rats. For my little one. We'll get to you in a minute. That one's not feeding himself yet? No. When they're about fledgling age, they get kind of hard to, hard to feed. Same you know? as other fledglings. Yep. So they... We're strangers. Yep. They don't like us. Huh, baby? Yep. Skin's a little thicker on rats than on mice, huh? Yeah, these are actually, these are these little dwarf rats. So their skin's not nearly as thick. They're like a really, really big mouse. So actually dwarf rats or just really small young ones? No, they're a specific dwarf species of rat. Oh, didn't know they had them. Yeah, I think it's, this is the, uh, the guys in town that raise rats for snake food. So they started raising those little dwarf ones. Okay, baby. I think we're about there. Okay. You can tell he loves you. Yeah, can you tell how much he loves me? Yeah. Like I said, when they get to be about this size, I think it'd be more of a challenge to feed. Huh. You do. Yes, you do. So is this one bigger than the other one? It is. This is female. Okay. So this one's younger, but bigger? Yes. And these came from two different locations. Yes, they did. And the other four came from somewhere else. Yep. 
And you've already released one earlier this year. We've released a couple this year so far. But yeah, one was a fledgling that we released. It's quite a bit older than these. Huh. That was all ready to go. There's just a little knack to it. So you gotta open the beak and then you place the food behind the tongue and push it back just a tiny bit and then he swallows. If it's too far forward, he throws it up. If it's too far forward, you'll throw it up. I always think it's funny when people ask me, do I ever get bit? It's about every day, huh? Little critters like you, you'd like to take a chunk out of my finger. Huh. There we go. One more piece. There we go. I think that's about it for you. Hi, baby. Okay, here you go, there you go. And you, my little friend, you need to get away from the door. These are some younger barn owls, and uh, so hopefully we can get these to eat on their own. They're not eating on their own yet, but we're trying to work on that. Biggest one of those groups, a little more aggressive. The smaller ones are a little easier to deal with, but we still have to hand feed them. Thank <laughs> you. 
side. Come on, baby. Come here, sweetie. Gotcha. <laughs> Got it over the pan just in the neck of time. Yeah, well, there's still a little gun on the floor. It's okay. Try to miss it. All right, no, you can't go out that way. You gotta stay here. description of that sound where there's multiple making the noise is very strange. Hissing or growling? No. Okay, baby. There you go. That's my baby. Cody bouncing around upstairs. He doesn't like that we both left him. Nope. Especially to play with birds. That's an insult to Cody. I had enough. One more big piece. There you go. That's my boy. <clears throat> So this is what Belle is upset about, sharing her basement rough at night, huh? Yeah, she doesn't like to share with the other birds. She doesn't like things that hiss in the night. <laughs> well, this is, her this is her bedroom. Why should she have to share with everybody? Huh? Not quite yet, huh? Okay. I guess it doesn't matter which way I go, he's going to not hold still. Mm -hmm. No, we're about done with you. You've about had enough. Okay.
Oh, it's your turn, baby. Are you going to let me feed you or am I going to have to hold you? Huh? Yeah. I'm going to eat you. You're the footy one. And you have to be a little bit careful because even those big fuzz balls, those talons are really sharp and they certainly can you still use them at this age. Huh. You can certainly use them at your age. You're not my mom. I don't want to eat from you. Okay. Come on, swallow down. You're just about done, sweetie. Just about got all you need to eat. There we go. This is the big piece. It's okay. Don't watch out for those feet. Yes, I do. <laughs> You're going to be a problem, aren't you? Okay. All right. Okay. We'll have to pick you up then. We put this down. Come on, baby. One more piece to go. Just one. Okay. Sorry. Okay. That's my baby. There we go. Back on your friends. Good night, guys. Oh, you're going to get me, huh? <laughs> okay. That one's up there. That's our oldest one. There's, is there five oh, in the box? He joined, the box? he joined He joined the ones in the box. He joined the ones in the box, so that's okay. He says that felt more comfortable to him. Yep. So, oldest one. These are from three different places. Yes, they are. Come on. I know. I'm... Shh. 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 
terrible because I pick on you. If you would just eat, I would be really happy instead of me having to hand feed you. Yes. Instead of me having to hand feed you if you would just eat. But you don't want to cooperate. And this is one of the things when you're working with uh, these animals, when they're really, really young, they, they don't know any different and so they'll eat from you uh, fairly comfortably. But as they get a little bit older, you know, if they're older babies or fledglings or branchers or whatever, uh, then they, they know you're not mom. They, I know, and you want to bite me and that's okay. Hi, baby. And so it becomes a little more of a challenge. Yeah. To get them to eat. Here comes the real trick. I'm going to open his mouth and give him his food. Yeah, that's my baby. So you got to watch the beak and you got to watch those feet because those talons are razor sharp. They are. Hey, sweetie. Yeah. Yeah, oh yeah, you can bite, that's okay. I'm used to you biting me. You biting me. <clears throat> I frequently get asked, you know, how much do you feed them? And it's the truth of the matter is as much as they will take without having to fight with them too badly. And others are watching, you hear the little growls starting. Mm -hmm. This is you're watching. He says, nope, I'm going to throw that one out. This might be his last piece for the morning. Good enough. There you go. Okay, the next hardest one is this one, baby, right here. The bigger they are when they come in, the harder they are, huh? Yep. And so this one is, you can see, bigger than the one we just fed as far as size. Not older, but bigger. This is a female. Just it was a little male. Yeah. These two bigger ones came each in from two different places. They did.
So this is the guy over here walking around. Mm -hmm. Trying to climb back up. He managed to get himself up on the perch last night. He's actually able to fly quite well. I'm surprised I was just able to walk in and grab him. He's about to that point where he's done. Okay, that one, here we go. Go sit with your new brothers and sisters. These four came in from another spot. I don't have to sit in the box, I can get out. Yeah, doing the posturing over there. Mm -hmm. They rock and posture quite a bit. Just takes time and patience. Okay, I'll put you down for now. Okay. I think this one has been pretty good at swallowing without me having to hold him. My huh, baby. There we go. If you're curious what we're feeding them, this is exactly the same thing that mom and dad would feed them. This is just chopped up rat. These are a, a dwarf rat. So they're just uh, bigger than a mouse, but not as big as a normal rat. So we try to give them as close to a natural diet as possible. So yeah, it's just uh, a little bit of patience. Okay. Yes, and you're a footy one. <clears throat> this guy I usually have to hold because he tries to grab me with his feet, but we'll see. Yeah, we're gonna be footy, I know. And even though they're just little fluff balls, those talons are still razor sharp. And so, I have to hold this one. Hey baby, yeah, okay, bite. Yeah, you can bite me, I don't care. <clears throat> I 
I don't care about like me. Can swallow, so it go. Sometimes you just have to move it around a little bit so you swallow. Hey, baby. Oh. Yes, get your feet up here. There we go, so I get a finger loose. Is it gonna be it for you? Wait a moment. And last but not least, grab me or are you going to let me just feed you? It's amazing how many volunteers will say, oh, oh, I want to feed them, I want to feed them. When they see what's involved, then they say, uh, no, maybe not. Maybe I don't want to feed them. Turn around. Take another bite. Are you flying around, kiddo? Yeah, he flew across. Mm -hmm. Didn't quite make his landing, but he meant to. Yep. Now, I cut up extra today, because these guys really do need to feed themselves. They're certainly old enough. And so I'm going to leave this for an hour or so. We feed in the nest, and hopefully they'll go back and have some. I start picking at it when we're out of the way. There's two. These four. Yep. Total of six little monsters. Thunderstorms rolling through, and so we decided we'd go ahead and put them in the old barn. Yeah, make sure they have the cover in case the thunderstorm does blow through today. So, uh, haven't brought you guys over here before, so we'll let you look around a bit. This is uh, an old pioneer farm. Uh, owned by a family called the Rush family. And it was a stagecoach stop. And it was uh, a wetlands, which it's this year turned back into wetlands, which is kind of fun. This is uh, the first time in the 44 years that I've been here, there's been water in Rush Lake Ranch. So because of the nice winter we had, we have the uh, water here, which is good. So yeah, we want to make sure these guys have cover so the storm doesn't 
hurt them. In this poor place. It's falling apart. We've got some graffiti issues out here and the <coughs> people and Door opens or? Yep, let me see. Nope. No, no, it's set. There's holes on the other side. Yep. Oh, dear. This is a great place. See, this is the old barn. In here. Old dead sheep carcass from who knows how many years yep. ago. Oh, he's going to go out anyway. That's okay. You silly thing. He can thing. go wherever he wants. Stop it. This is not. I'm not ready to come out. Yeah. There you go. And he's going to go out too. <laughs> well, so be it for trying to give them a nice dry safe place but they'll go where they want they do but we tried so that's our they fly good yeah oh yeah they fly just fine well and there'll be plenty of food here they may come back they may go elsewhere so that's the old rush lake ranch pioneer farm uh you mind if i take a peek really quick no go ahead Old hay, a couple of old dead animals. It's amazing that everything's set here for so long. Yeah, it's pretty darn dilapidated. Yep, not a safe place to visit. Nope. All of the other buildings are falling down too. Yeah, they've been falling down for many, many years. Amazing to see the water out there. It is. Anyway, we've got two owls released. We've got five more to go. And uh, another red tailed hawk that's kind of for release. So we'll just keep care of the critters. And Put back to the wild. That used to be a big barn too. Yeah, this used to be the barn. This used to be kind of the uh, manger. Okay. And this and this was the barn. The barn's completely collapsed. And I, 45 years ago, this is actually a pretty nice barn. It was standing, but it's all gone now. And, Definitely interesting. It is. This is all private property, no trespassing. Yeah, I've been given permission by the landowners to come out here and fly my birds, and they don't mind me releasing stuff out here, especially when they eat rodents. So I've been allowed out in this area, but yes, it is very much private property. Well, Go ahead and head back to the car. We'll talk to you guys later. Okay. It's been a busy day. We've got another release. More now.
weeks for the other four before they're ready? Probably about four weeks. Okay, so they're probably mid to late September. So they came in at quite a variety of stages from early spring to, to late summer. Yeah, we had a lot of late babies this year. Hey everybody, I'm Martin Tyler with the Southwest Wildlife Foundation, Enoch Wildlife Rescue, and we've got some young barn owls that we're going to release here. They're going to attack me. Whichever, whichever one grabs on the best. Mm -hmm. yeah, come here, baby. I got you. Can't you just tell how much they love me? <laughs> yeah, before it's worse now, huh? Okay, Tiffany. Let's, well, let's get out here by the a little bit. Yeah, we're just gonna be right here next to the wall. It may fly that way, or it may fly. Over. No, whichever way. No, you hate my guts. <laughs> Now what you're going to do is you're going to hold, basically your right hand is going to be around the feet. Okay. Left hand is going to be on the back. Okay. And keep away from your face. Okay. And then just throw them just as hard as you can, straight up and he'll fly away. Alright. Okay. That hand on the back. This hand on the feet. Go under my hands. Okay. Oh, hello, sweetheart. Aren't you beautiful? Okay. I got him. <gasps> okay. Okay, ready? Oh. Get out of the way. One, two, hello, sweetheart. Two. Oh. Oh, that didn't work. No, it worked fine. What happened? He basically wanted to turn around and fight you. He wanted to look at you. No, he I'm wants so to sorry. fight. Oh. Are you okay? He's fine. He's, fine. he's doing the rocking. Yeah, he's, he's basically saying, I'm going to kill you. <laughs> Good to rock. Well, that's what they've been doing in the chamber. Oh, oh. He just, and then dropped. Yes. I know. He was looking at you. I know. He, he was, was focused on fighting. Look big and bad. Yeah. He does look big and bad. <laughs> Whatever gets over to where he feels safe, he'll fly off. Once you give her, you want her to. No, I want her. Okay. Probably wasn't when they're young. Two or three. Okay, so just, Here it comes, Grandma. If this one flies or not. No, you're fine. Is that a baby or one? No, the same they're size. They're about the same age. They're all the same uh, There's still two left at home that are a little bit younger. Okay, we're going to do the same thing. You're going, you're going to, in your right hand, you're going to hold the feet, and your, and your left hand's going to be on the back, right there, and, and reach underneath my hand. There you go. Okay. And just throwing nice and high so it goes over the fence. Like, like I said, it may not fly either, but... Yeah. Look, at, look where you're going, baby. Look See, the other one's going. working his way up the hill where there. Where going. Okay, one. Look where you're going. <laughs> Don't look at me. Look where you're going. You're going that way. <laughs> Over the fence. Over the fence. Come on. Look where you're going. One, two, three. Look where you're going. He says, oh, there he goes. He almost landed. Hey, your but brother they, just they took off. So the other one's climbed up the hill a ways. He's just afraid to do anything at the moment. Oh, he's right there? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you have what, four of them? Yeah, two, we've got two, two more. Two more to go. Now, are these the babies? Little babies. The little Yeah, like, they were little, yeah. ugly, look, look like yeah. a, a They hiss, yeah. 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 The 
just like a bunch of snakes. Did the other two that were adults already go? Oh, they're gone. They're gone. They're gone. <laughs> we've had a lot of owls this year. Oh. So that was his choice to drop down, Tiffany. Nothing you did. I know. He, the way he just, though, like just, he was looking at you. <laughs> he was well, he's, so shaking, he's shaking his head so he's still being threatening. He's still posh. He's still trying to be, act big and mean. That's what I they do. He's scratching his feet. No. <laughs> Well, that's, Even that's, as babies, they do that. Oh, do they? Yep. Yeah. That, that's his. They his rock. Saying, you get closer to me, and I will kill you. <laughs> yeah. Well, these, you know, they're wild animals, and that's what they're supposed to be. Yeah, yeah. And so when they're when they're at our rescue center, they get as little human contact as possible because we want them to eat people. We want them to stay as far away from people as possible. hasn't decided where he wants to go yet. He's so, they're so they're separate. Separate. Oh, yeah. Wow. They're pretty. Look at the wings. Yeah, he's actually so looking around now instead okay. of just rocking his head. It's like finally looking around. You're free, kid. You're free.